Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how you can write, control or update single holding registered data of your Morbis serial RTU RS485 device from the NodeGrid dashboard. Now in this video, we will cover that how you can write, control or update single coil status of your Morbis serial device from the NodeGrid dashboard. So if you want to turn on the coil or if you want to turn off the coil from the NodeGrid dashboard, then how you can do that. So here is my Morbis serial simulated device using this open more sim software. And you can see this device is running on the COM1 port with 9600 baud rate, data bits 8, parity none and the stop bit 1. So we are going to use the node rate to control the device and then we are going to control the coil status of this device from the node rate dashboard. So let's see how you can do that. So first of all, I'm going to take a switch to control the status or to send the status like true or false. And then after we are going to use the mode bus write node. Okay, and I'm going to connect these two things. Now we are going to put this switch in the default group. Okay, and uh, this switch is for coil zero to control the coil zero. So I'm going to rename it as a coil zero. Okay, and we are going to send true or false payload as we are going to turn on the coil or turn off the coil from the node rate dashboard. That's why. Okay, so that it's all about this switch node so this is how you have to configure the switch node that's it you can press on done now we have to configure the modbus write node to write on exactly first coil okay or to control the first coil so you have to double click here and we are going to control the coil zero that's why i have used coil zero here the unit id is one as you can see here unit id is one and we are going to control only one coil at a time so that's why we have to select the function code 5 force single coil okay so we are going to force or we are going to control or we are going to update only single coil at the time and its very first coil so that's why we have to select the function code 5 here and the address i'm going to put 0 because we are going to control very first coil okay now we have to set up where we are going to uh, control the coil or you can say on which device we are going to control the coil so we have to add our server connection or you can say the slave connection here so in this case node trade will act as a modbus client or you can say modbus master okay so i'm going to click on this pencil to add the configuration now we are going to communicate with modbus serial device so that's why you have to select serial expert and this is our node trade modbus client or you can say master okay in the serial port i'm going to select com2 because com1 and com2 is internally connected so whatever data is available on the com1 the same data will be available on the com2 and the vice versa okay so that's why i have selected com2 here in the physical cases okay in actual cases you have to select the com port according to your device physical device now in the serial type we have to select rtu buffer the baud rate should be match this one okay 9600 data bits 8 you can see here parity none and the stop bit 1 okay so this is how you have to configure this uh, uh, modbus client node okay or you can say your client configuration or master configuration and then you have to add it okay that's it so we have already configured the modbus write node so we don't have to configure anything here we can just press on done and we can deploy it okay and i can go to node red dashboard and here you can see coil zero right now the coil zero status is zero i can turn on from here you can see it's one i can turn off from here you can see it's zero okay now the same way if i want to control the second coil then what i can do is i can copy this okay and instead of coil zero if you want to control the coil one then i can rename it and here also i can rename and i can change the address to one okay that's it we can deploy our flow we can go to our node red dashboard and we can control both of the coils now from node red dashboard you can see both are one i can turn off the second coil i can turn off the first coil okay so this is how you can use node red to control the coil status of your modbus serial rtu or rs485 device from the node red dashboard and if you still have any question or any doubt inside this then you can always put your questions and doubt in the comment section as well as you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere okay so i hope everything is clear now let's meet in the next video with uh, uh, new ideas regarding node red and modbus 
Till then, take care. Goodbye and thank you.